this is the final result and the hair is absolutely beautiful you can see that it moves it's very light the hair is very thick um, and it's nice and smooth but it's got a really nice texture to it as well which I'm absolutely loving so I ended up doing the side part as you can see it's not as deep as I thought I'd make it but I think it works this way as well and as you would have seen in the beginning of the video um, I didn't end up cornrowing my hair and sewing the U part on I just ended up clipping it in because when I finished the U part last night it was really late I was really tired and this was just the easiest method to do but I probably will remove the clips at some point and actually sew it down so taking a look at the color as you can see it is like a 1B to a 2 so it's not very dark but it still blends nicely with my hair so as you would have seen in the beginning of the video I relaxed my hair um, yesterday after about 11 weeks I actually wanted to push my relax a little bit so um, when I got the hair it would blend really really well because by 11 weeks time my edges were not laying down at all so I definitely wanted to wait to get this hair before I relax my hair and as you can see my hair blends extremely well with this relaxed text so it definitely does mimic relaxed hair so after showing you guys the initial review I co-washed the hair with herbal essence hello hydration and the hair was even more beautiful and more soft after I co-washed it And while I was co-washing it, I got almost no shedding and I haven't experienced any tangles as of yet. So after it air dried, um, I made my U part. Now I know I got a few requests to show how I made the U part, but sorry guys, I didn't actually um, record me making it. I use um, Fabulosity is Me's method um, a lot when I do my U parts. I also watch Peak Mills videos um, when I'm doing my U parts. So they're definitely channels that you can check out because they show in depth and give you really good detail as to how to make the U part. So um, sorry. Now when I was sewing the hair onto the U part, the wefts are quite thick, but I didn't have any problems because I don't sew through the weft, except um, when I start. Um, at the end of the weft and when I finish but I did find it a little bit hard pushing the needle through the ends of the weft when I was just finishing it off so just keep that in mind now also with the length of the weft um, you would have seen in the previous video that it's about an arm's length now um, when I was sewing the hair onto the cap I found that one bundle didn't get me um, as far as I wanted to so I ended up spacing the hair pretty big at the back but when I got to this section here, I laid all the tracks going back so it would fall over and it definitely did create thickness. So I mean three bundles is definitely enough, but if you're someone who likes more volume at the back of your head, I would definitely suggest four. I'm not too fussed about volume on the back. I like um, my volume mainly on the sides because I generally wear my hair forward like this. So um, as you can see, it looks fine. But yeah, I was a little bit nervous when I was sewing that I might run out of hair, but it definitely um, was enough and I used every last bit of hair all the way up to the front. So the way I sewed the hair onto the cap is I just basically went back and forth like this until I created a section um, around here. Then I started laying the tracks backwards and then with the front I kind of followed um, the shape of how the hair is laying so I went around and then back around back so the hair would fall on my face now the part that I had for my leave out was literally like this small it was the tiniest um, section and so when I finished all I had to do was just snip um, 
that little space and it opened it up so that allows me to have just a little bit of leave out um, on the top because yeah no one wants to deal with a lot of leave out now the other reason I didn't braid my hair down and sew it is because in my last video where I showed the initial review that was some old Genesis hair that um, I ended up braiding my hair and sewing it down because like I said 11 weeks post relaxer my hair was starting to get annoying I didn't want to deal with it so I braided it up um, and sewed the U part on but I really found that my head was so itchy I don't know if it's because I haven't cornrowed my hair and sewn anything down for a while because I've been clipping um, my um, U parts in for you know almost a year now um, so I guess the feeling was different so it was really irritating and the fact that I couldn't get to my scalp and scratch it properly and you know just that whole luxury of taking it on and off every day I absolutely love that but like I said I probably will sew this one down but I mean I'm not making any promises who knows Also, I forgot to mention in the previous video that there was nothing significant about how the hair smelled, so that was a good thing. And also, I didn't show the ends much in the other one, but this is basically it. Um, it's decent. It's not scraggly. Um, it definitely gets thinner, but I think it works with the way the hair is. Now, with this hair, it is absolutely bone straight. I didn't do anything to it. I literally made the U part last night. Um, and I didn't straighten it at all. So if you love bone straight hair, then this is definitely hair that you will really appreciate. So the hair was obviously all one length when I finished making the U part, but I cut some layers um, on this side just to frame my face. So not too short, just starts about there. And I just cut it through just on the sides here. But on this side, I got a little bit excited, so all that has been cut and I even laid a little bit going down. And I also layered a bit through here, so as you can see, there are shorter sections in there as well. But I think it creates a nice shape to the look of the hair, so um, I'm not mad at myself for hacking into the hair. So basically, I just used my razor comb and just went through like that. I picked up sections um, just, you know, randomly and just went through. And also the hair is um, true to length. Um, the longest bundle is 22 inches. So yeah, I'll be wearing this hair straight for a little while. And um, like always, I will definitely curl it and put waves in it and see um, how the hair is like that. But I absolutely love it straight. It's beautiful. I think it um, complements me with the side part. So I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to rocking this hair. So far, I'm really, really loving it. So I'm hoping the experience will get even better. Anyway, guys, have a great day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.